What's up fellow humans, my name is Swimburger and today I'm going to share another useful trick hidden inside the developer tools of Chromium browsers. Have you ever debugged some code on the server, but in order to execute the code, you need to fill out a complicated form or a wizard over and over again? Then this trick will save you a huge load of time. Before submitting the form, open up the developer tools by pressing F12 or Ctrl Shift I. Or click on the overflow menu on the top right, click on more tools and then click on developer tools. Inside of the developer tools, switch to the network tab and verify that the network recording button is red. When it's red, it is recording. Now hit the submit button and locate the newly recorded HTTP request in the network tab. Now instead of filling out the form again next time, you can right click on the HTTP request and click on the copy menu item. Inside of the copy submenu, you can copy the request as PowerShell, Fetch or Curl. Unfortunately, on non-Windows machines, the PowerShell option won't show up, even though PowerShell is supported on Mac and Linux. The Fetch and Curl options are supported on all operating systems. But since I'm on Windows, I'm going to copy the request as PowerShell. Let me open up Windows Terminal with a PowerShell tab and copy the PowerShell code into my terminal. And before I hit enter, let's put a breakpoint in my controller to prove that this is working. Alright, let's run the PowerShell now, and you can see my breakpoint is hitting. And now I can easily debug the incoming HTTP request and whatever complicated code is supposed to be executed. If I need to change some code, I can make my adjustments and simply press up and enter in my terminal. This way you can really speed up your feedback loop. You could also copy this PowerShell to develop some other automation scripts very quickly. Let's switch back to the browser and check out the other options. You can also copy the request as Fetch, which is the newer JavaScript API for making ATP requests. Let's copy this request and paste it into the browser console. Perfect. The last option you have is to use curl command. Curl is a really powerful command to make ATP requests. Let's copy the curl command and paste it into bash. I'm adding one extra argument, dash k, because I'm using a self-signed certificate for this website and I need to explicitly tell curl not to complain about that. And we see the same result as before. And that's all the ways you can copy recorded ATP requests from Chromium browsers to code. I hope this comes in handy while you're developing on the web. Leave a like, share and subscribe if you enjoy this content. This is Swimburger, signing off.